Okay, so the plan of action today is to go and try the second half of Silence. But everybody probably knows what Silence is, it's the hardest route in the world, 9C by Adam Andra. It was done a few years ago, and I've got no chance of ever climbing it, but there's a crack on it, so I just want to check out these moves of of crack, of crack action. I can't say I'll never, never be able to do it. 9C. Well, never say never. Never say never. So I'm not planning on doing any of the other climbing, any of the climbing past the crack, before the crack. I'm just going to bolt to bolt up there, and I'm just going to hang from the foot jam, the Andre foot jam, and then I'm just going to see if there's a way of crack climbing that section. So I'm not really expecting there to be any major, like, oh my god, there's a sink hand jam there, or like a bomb of fist jam, you know what I mean? I just don't think that's going to happen. But maybe you might be able to find some like sneaky... Bit of that, bit of this, bit of that. Might be able to find some sneaky ones of those. This is uh, the warm-up wall. This is uh, what they built for uh, Adam to warm up for silence. I'm taking the path that Adam took, the journey, and I'm going to warm up on here. Just hang on the, the biggest jugs that I can find. So I feel like if you're taking his path, you should probably... Mm, visualise the moves. Yeah. Like the... Yeah. On the floor. Yeah. He's like that, isn't he? He's like that. Comes through to here, maybe. And then it's this thing. <laughs> so that's, that's what I should warm up on here, really. There is one uh, place where I think we can jam on here. In there. That one's actually not too bad. Have you not seen in the video how he does the figure four thing? Okay. Maybe that's the trick. Yeah, maybe. That looks familiar. Yeah. Yeah. That silence. I think so. <laughs> Warmed up? I might be able to find some ring locks uh, <laughs> below, <laughs> below the foot jam. Cheeky, cheeky ring lock that, yeah. that Andra missed. Because I'm thinking finger jam, just... And then instead of where the foot jam is, so it's more like... Could we not just go cragging like normal people do? Yeah, but everybody keeps asking me, like, oh, are you going <laughs> to try silence? You can try silence. It's got a foot jam. I've seen a foot jam on it. What people don't realise is that every other move is uh, is 9C. But my, my aim for today is to just hang a move. Yeah. One move. If I can hang one move in the V15, then I'll be happy. You're just taking one for the team. We all need to know, is there a jam up there? We all need to know. We all need to find out this. Uh, what's going on up there. Mm. Uh, we need to see if the jam is a jam. We need to see if it's a V5. We need to see if it's a V15. Yeah. That's can the big, Adam Andra jam? The it's the big question on everybody's lips. We all know he can. So I presume it's going to be totally desperate. But I'm psyched. It's not too wet today, does it? No. The plan is to go up self static and then I'll dangle them out on it like a Grigri hero. But what people don't realise is there's only one jam on the whole route. And I like routes where there's only one hold on the whole route. You know, and the rest are jams. So, what, what is there to lose? Tickle, tickle Just tickle them. Mm. I've never actually tried harder than 8C plus before. I've never tried a route harder than 8C plus. So this is the first. So I'm just making a, you know, big step. I'm just going from 8C plus to 9C. I've never tried 9A. Well, no, I have tried the um, uh, Crucifix project actually. Actually, that'd be interesting to know. It'd be interesting to know whether the crux of the Crucifix is harder than that. If if the Crucifix is harder than Silence, um, 
Well, that would be a game change, wouldn't it? Could you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> Just suddenly like, hmm, oh. <laughs> get it actually in the crack yeah you almost had it at the top there oh, and it looks quite big which bit by the tick oh. yeah that's big enough for your shoe yeah oh, definitely that didn't feel too bad it's just all the other moves just, just <laughs> everything else <laughs> <laughs> just everything else v15 about it <laughs> it's a good fish jam there wonder if you could um into a donut. Yeah, into a cheeky donut jam. Donut 180 trout tickler. With it, left foot, right foot. Yeah, it might not be that good, but... Oh, no, I think it's a bit far away. Yeah, further down. There. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's coming. Whoa! That, that was better actually, just um, into a thin hand there. Mm -hmm. Keep walking your feet. Left, right, left above, left hand in. Right above. Hand jump. I'm going to try that again. That was a sequence. Okay, okay. I'm going to go full, full sequence. Okay. Full sequence.
So the hardest route in the world is a crack climb, see? Finger jamming. And hand, and, and hand jamming as well. And uh, my shoes are falling apart. Yeah. It destroys your boots. So I was, I was struggling a bit at the end actually. Is it easy for a uh, I mean, it's not easy, is it? I managed to do more than I thought I was going to do. Yeah, yeah. So I was quite happy with that. I think on a, on a second session, that whole going feet first thing, I think I get that pretty dialed, actually. Like when you actually have the foot jam in um, with some fresh shoes. But I mean, all uh, the everything else getting into that was holds that. I never knew people could even pull on. So. <laughs> were the jumps good? Or were um, they technical? They were technical. Mm. Very technical. They weren't good jumps. I'll just stuff them in there. No. no there was, it was technical jamming. Uh, and then the foot jumps were technical as well. Mm. Very technical foot jamming. It's hard to know how, like, whether it's easier just to do that one big, awful drop knee thing and it saves you a couple of moves. Yeah or do some technical foot jams which feel quite good. But I mean doing that whole thing of getting your feet up and, and all that, totally desperate. I'm not a nine climber, so I have no idea. <laughs> but I think he has something to learn with some jamming. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Well, where did you learn that? <laughs> In Dom's cellar. <laughs> we need to get him over to Chesterfield. I mean, there's always something to learn, isn't there? Yeah. There's always something to learn.